Barcelona is a city on the coast of northeastern Spain. It is the capital and largest city of the autonomous community of Catalonia, as well as the second most populous municipality of Spain, with a population of 1.6 million within city limits. Immigration has played a key part in the economic growth of the region. Up to one-third of the population of modern Barcelona was born outside Catalonia, a condition that has caused some social strain. Given the Catalans' firm sense of national identity and their aloof attitude, which is often displayed toward the rest of Spain as a whole, Barcelona's industry is relatively up-to-date, and the city has long established external markets to give it stability. Almost a quarter of Spanish exports come from Catalonia, and three-quarters of Catalan industry is concentrated in the Barcelona area, which provides about one-fifth of Spain's industrial output. Public transportation is provided by buses, subways, and surface railways. There are also cable cars. Let's explore the best places to visit in Barcelona. Sagrada Familia. Construction of this holy church started on 19 March 1882. Initially, it was based on the plans by architect Francisco de Paula del Villar. But in 1883, architect Tony Gaudi was given the task to continue construction of the Sagrada Familia. After Gaudi received an anonymous donation, he decided to replace the original Gothic revival design with a more modern and innovative temple design. The only time construction was halted for a few years was during the Spanish Civil War. Until his death in 1926, Gaudi worked on the temple, and several architects have succeeded him since. In 2019, 70% of the Sagrada Familia V was complete, with just 8 of the 18 towers. The current official expected date of completion is 2026. The construction managers just say that the Sagrada Church could be ready somewhere in the first third of the 21st century. When construction of the Sagrada Familia is completed, the Basilica will be the largest church building in the world. The speed at which the building of the Sagrada Familia progresses depends largely on the amount of gifts donated by visitors. Work on the Basilica has now been going on for so long that even finished parts of the Sagrada are, are starting to show wear and have to be renovated during your visit. That's not uncommon for churches this size. It has 3 million visitors every year, it's pretty much required to order fast-track tickets online before you visit the Sagrada Familia. Tourism around Sagrada Familia has gone quite out of hand, and you might be queuing for hours only to learn that there are no more tickets available for that day. Smart travelers order their tickets in advance to avoid disappointment during their stay. You only pay a small extra fee for a lot of convenience. The easiest way to get to the cathedral is by metro. Metro Lines 2 and 5 both have the station Sagrada Familia. When you get off at the station, you will arrive at the Passion Facade of the Holy Temple. This is the side with both the entrance and the ticket office. If you use the hop-on-hop-off bus, the blue line will stop right outside the Sagrada Familia. If you only had time to visit one monument in Barcelona, Casa Batlo would certainly be a top candidate. Casa Batlo. Casa Batlo is one of the most famous gaudy buildings in Barcelona and also one of my most favorite places to visit in the city. Its beautiful facade and fantastic interiors, coupled with the great restoration efforts by the family who owns the building and virtual reality audio guide, make a visit to Casa Batlo, a must whether you are spending one day in Barcelona, four days in the capital, a complete road trip around Europe, or whether you are traveling solo or with kids. Casa Batlo is great for all ages and in all seasons. It is even open on Christmas Day and at night throughout the year, be it for summer concerts of winter serenades. You can't visit Barcelona and miss Casa Batlo. This privately owned, UNESCO-listed building on Passe de Gracia is visited by almost 3 million people every year, making it one of the most popular places in the city and one of the most emblematic too. Considered a gaudy masterpiece, Casa Batlo has been recognized with several awards for its original design, its original restoration work, and its ongoing conservation efforts. It is also consistently ranked as one of the best tourist attractions in Spain. The architect's signature elements can almost all be found in the building, making it a culmination piece in his portfolio. Gaudi also incorporated several modern elements for the time and made it a very functional building despite its fantastical look. Antoni Gaudi started his professional architectural career in the 1880. His first official work was actually a set of lampposts that you can still see on Plaza Real in the Gothic Quarter and which brought light to the streets of the city for the first time. There are three elements you will find in almost all of Gaudi's works. 
references to Catalan culture, religious components, and nature, which was his biggest source of inspiration and creativity. Gaudi is also known for not believing in straight lines and they are hardly ever found in his designs. Park Gal Park Gal is a privatized park system composed of gardens and architectural elements located on Carmel Hill in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. Carmel Hill belongs to the mountain range of Calcerola. The Park del Carmel is located on the northern face. Park Gal was commissioned by Eusebi Gal, who wanted to create a stylish park for Barcelona aristocracy. The park contains amazing stone structures, stunning tiling, and fascinating buildings. You can see the gaudy dragon fountain that is at the entrance to Gell Park. This dragon is adorned in beautiful colored tiling, and there is something rather hypnotic and magical about it. At the top of Gell Park is a terraced area where you get a wonderful view of the park and of Barcelona City. Here you will find multicolored tiled mosaic seats as shown in this picture. The vibrant colors of the tiles are, are truly breathtaking. Park Gale also has a small house in the park which Gaudi lived in at one stage. The house has now been converted into a museum and contains interesting furniture also designed by Gaudi. Due to Park Gale's location and size, you'll need to schedule at least half a day for a visit to Gale Park, but it will be well worth the visit. If you're visiting the park by metro, be prepared for at least a 20 minutes walk. The last 200M walk is up a steep hill. If you have difficulties going up steep steps, then a taxi or bus may be a better means of transport. You'll find bus information at the Tourist Information Office at Placa de Catalonia. The Park Gal is open. As usual, however, the bus gal that was included with your Park Gal entry tickets to take you from Metro Station Alphonse X Yellow Line L4. National Art Museum of Catalonia This is a museum of Catalan visual art located in Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. It is exclusively dedicated to the exhibition of Catalan art such as sculptures, paintings, drawings, and engravings. Inaugurated in 1990, it occupies the Palau National de Manchu. At the foot of the hill of the same name, the famous law of Catalan museums grouped the works of the former Museu de Art de Catalonia and the Museu Europeu de Art Modern to create the National Art Museum of Catalonia. Alongside its very impressive works, it offers breathtaking panoramic views from the sumptuous heights of its terraces making this museum one of the finest and largest in the country. The palace itself extends over 32,000 meters square, and its design was inspired by the Spanish Renaissance and the academic classicism which was popular at the time. The edifice dominates the view from Placa España and is a popular tourist site in its own right. Its collection includes what is believed to be the largest collection of Romanesque art in the world, ranging from approximately 1000 AD to the beginning of the Gothic era in the 13th century. The modern art collection ranges from the early 19th century up until the 1940. Modern art dating from the mid-20th century onwards is available to see at the Museum of Modern Art of Barcelona. Mercat de San Josep de la Baquiria The Mercat de San Josep de la Baquiria, often simply referred to as La Baquiria, is a large public market in the Ciudad Vela district of Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain, and one of the city's foremost tourist landmarks, with an entrance from La Rambla not far from the Lysu, Barcelona's Opera House. The first mention of the Baquiria market in Barcelona dates from 1217, when tables were installed near the old city gate to sell meat. From December 1470 onwards, a pig market was held. At this site at this time, it was known as Mercati Bornet. Later, until 1794, it was known simply as Mercat de la Pala, or Straw Market. In the beginning, the market was not enclosed and had no official status, being regarded simply as an extension of the Placa Nova market, which extended to the Placa del Pai. The current name is believed to derive from the Catalan Bac, meaning goat, therefore a Baquiria would be a place where goat meat is sold compare also French Bouchery, whence Fuchiria, the name of a market in Palermo, Italy. Initially, it was built in dedication to the two biggest legends of Barcelona called Mera Celeste Rodriguez, Mincada, and Carlos Gonzalez. Later, the authorities decided to construct a separate market on La Rambla, housing mainly fishmongers and butchers. It was not until 1826 that the market was legally recognized, and a convention held in 1835 decided to build an official structure. Construction began on March 19, 1840 under the direction of the architect Mas Vila. The market officially opened in the same year, but the plans for the building were modified many times. The inauguration of the structure finally took place in 1853. A new fish market opened in 1911, and the metal roof that still exists today was constructed in 1914. Camp New Football Stadium 
Camp Nou is a football stadium in Barcelona, Spain. It opened in 1957 and has been the home stadium of FC Barcelona since its completion, with a seating capacity of 99,354. It is the largest stadium in Spain and Europe, and the fourth largest association football stadium in the world in capacity. Camp Nou is open all year round, except on January 1, January 6, September 24, and December 25. On match days, the FC Barcelona Museum, the Trophy Room, and the Messi area are only open until 3 p.m. The day before and the day of a Champions League match, visits are not possible. The Barcelona FC Camp New Experience Tour ticket gives you access to the behind-the-scenes action at the club as well as access to the FC Museum and the Multimedia Center. Rather, you will be guided through the museum by bright yellow barriers, ensuring that you go the right way around the tour. Gothic Quarter The charming Gothic Quarter, or Barry Godic, has narrow medieval streets filled with trendy bars, clubs, and Catalan restaurants. The Musu di Historia de Barcelona shows remains of the Roman city. Artisans sell leather and jewelry near the Cathedral of Barcelona, while flower stalls and street food vendors line busy Avenue La Rambla. The Placa del Pie, named after the adjacent Gothic church, hosts a weekend art market. This medieval quarter is a quaint, traffic-free world where almost every architectural detail seems frozen in the Middle Ages. Imposing Gothic buildings with magnificent facades have stood the test of time, and amazingly narrow pedestrian streets show the wear on their smoothed-down cobblestones. The beautiful neighborhood known as the Gothic Quarter is so-called because it used to be the Roman village, and thus has some remnants of its glorious past. These days, because of the constant modernization, it is easy to spot an ancient building right next to one built in the 90s. It is this mix of old and new that brings people from all over the world to stay in the Gothic Quarter. You will be spoiled for choice of restaurants and bars, especially around Placer Real, which is always full day and night. The nightlife in the Gothic Quarter is lively, to say the least, and you will always find somewhere to have a drink or a dance. Cal Farin, which is just to one side of Placer Real and leads up to Placa San John, with its imposing government buildings, is also good for bars and cafes. Shopping is also amazing in the Gothic Quarter, from the more commercial area of Cal Portal to El Angel to all the little boutiques on Cal Avenue. Make sure you walk around to experience all you can, and the Gothic Quarter is perfect for that afternoon stroll. There are metro stops on both sides of the Gothic Quarter. There are three on Las Ramblas, which runs up one side of the area, and on the other is John 1. However, you are in the center of the city, and many of the city's attractions are walk away. Barcelona El Prat Airport, Barcelona, El Prat Airport, and also known as El Prat Airport, is an international airport located 15 km southwest of the center of Barcelona. Lying in the municipalities of El Prat de Llobregat, Villacans, and San Boy in Catalonia, Spain, Barcelona Airport is the nearest and busiest airport to Barcelona city center and receives more than 30 million visitors each year. The airport has two terminals, Terminal 1 abbreviated to TONE, and Terminal 2, which has three separate buildings called T2A, T2B, and T2C. There's a left luggage storage facility available at both Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Four kilometer is the distance between T1 and T2. You will therefore need the free airport shuttle bus to travel between TONE and T2, and it is best you allow at least 30 minutes for this journey to be on the safe side. This will include waiting time for the shuttle bus and transit time. A secure luggage drop-off and transfer service operates from Barcelona Airport. You can drop off your luggage at Barcelona Airport and have it delivered to your hotel. Useful if you don't want to be bothered with carrying heavy luggage or if you just want to get started with your holiday right away. Port of Barcelona The Port of Barcelona has a 2,000-year history and great contemporary commercial importance as one of Europe's major ports in the Mediterranean as well as being Catalonia's largest port, tying with Tarragona. The Port Vell area comprises two marinas, or yacht harbors, a fishing port, a maritime station for ferries traveling to the Balearic Islands and other destinations in the Mediterranean, and other stations or landing areas cruise ships, and it abuts the industrial port. In the central area, it also houses Mare Magnum, a shopping mall and nightlife complex, a multiplex cinema, the IMAX Port Vell large format cinema complex, and Europe's largest aquarium, containing 8,000 fish and 11 sharks in 22 basins filled with 6 million liters of seawater. 
Because it is located in a designated tourist zone, the Mayor Magnum is the only commercial mall in the city that can open on Sundays and public holidays. Next to the Mayor Magnum area are the Galandrines, small ships that take tourists for a visit around the port area and beyond. The Barcelona Industrial Port is to the south and comprises the Zona Franco, a tariff-free industrial park that has developed within the port of Barcelona. Across the flat land of the La Brigade Delta between the city of Barcelona and that of El Prat de La Brigade and the Barcelona International Airport to the south. A good place to view both the industrial and pleasure port is from Manchuk, and more specifically, from Manchuk Castle, as well as from the aerial cable car connecting Barcelona with the ferry station and Manchuk.